Please note that I was provided this unit in order to produce an honest and unbiased review. The Dragon Touch i8 tablet isn't really a tablet, it's more of a touchscreen PC in an 8 inch display. The power that Dragon Touch has put into this PC is quite impressive, in terms of both power and price. At the time of this review, this tablet is retailing for just under $120. Considering the Intel Quad Core Atom processor running at 1.34 GHz, a 32GB solid state drive, 1GB of RAM, and the 1200x800 pixel IPS display, it's hard to believe Dragon Touch can deliver such a performer at such a low price. Although you may find multitasking a little difficult being limited by the RAM, you can easily run multiple tabs in Chrome with applications such as Skype and Word running in the background. One important thing to note is that when I received this unit, the power saver mode was on. This caused Google Chrome to have an 8 hour download time. As soon as I disabled it, the download time finished in 2 minutes. Make sure you turn that off. My favorite feature about this tablet is that it comes loaded with a full version of Windows 10. Although the instruction booklet included with the tablet had instructions for Windows 8, which I would have upgraded regardless, not having to upgrade to Windows 10 is a big plus, especially considering the relatively small hard drive capacity. In fact, when I received this unit, right off the bat there was only 9.1 gigabytes of free space available. After removing the applications that I could and installing the basics such as Chrome, Skype, and Microsoft Office, I had only about 2.4 gigabytes available. Fortunately, this is expandable with a micro SD card, something that I would consider a must if you plan on installing anything to this tablet. However, the greatest thing about this tablet is that you can install anything to it. One of the benefits of Windows 10 is that you can run Windows applications and Windows Store apps, although your selection of Windows Store apps is still pretty limited at this time. And now let's talk about performance. My Geekbench test gave it a single core score of 701 and a multi-core score of 2087. If you head over to the Geekbench archives, you can compare these numbers against whatever device you're currently using. I found the tablet to be just a little too slow for my taste, however, I'm a power user by all means. Even still, I found that the majority of this time, this performed just fine. Occasionally, it would run out of available RAM and freeze up. Another minor complaint I have is that this does get pretty hot after prolonged periods of use. Even just a few episodes of Netflix and this will heat up. And finally, we get to aesthetics, the place where this tablet really delivers. Weighing only 1.2 pounds and measuring only 8.5 inches by 5.2 inches, being only half an inch thick, this tablet is a champ with portability. Even with the keyboard case I received sold separately, it can easily fit into any backpack or book bag. One thing I'd like to say is if you plan on using this tablet for taking notes, the keyboard is an absolute necessity. Typing with the on-screen keyboard frustrates me with any tablet. On one side you'll find your power button and a volume rocker, and the other one has your micro SD slot. On the top is the micro USB charging port also used for USB devices, a mini HDMI port, and a headphone jack. The back houses a beautiful textured finish, the 5 megapixel camera, and the speaker, while the front has the screen, your windows button, and the 2 megapixel camera. Included with this tablet, you'll find the tablet itself, a micro USB cable, the micro USB to standard USB adapter, used for plugging in a flash drive, keyboard, or anything else compatible with USB 2.0, and the instruction booklets. Overall, I'd say this tablet is a winner for anyone in need of a light tablet with the functionality of a Windows PC. I personally will be using this for taking notes in class and all my lightweight computing.